Good morning, everybody. This is Friday, the last uh, working day of 2022. Welcome to the last devotion of this year. I'm standing here with a beautiful scene behind me, and you'll understand why I'm doing it at this particular time of sunset by the end of this devotion. But we're talking about standing in awe, standing in awe of God. We stand in awe when we don't understand. We stand in awe when we see the works of His hands, when we see the works of His deeds. We stand in awe of Him. And I want to talk a little bit about that today as we close out this year. There are two stands that I think are very important, and I've just mentioned them to you. The first stand at the end of the year is the stand in awe of His deeds. In Hebrews chapter 3, verse 2, it says this, and you kind of get a picture of, of a great reflection taking place in the guy who writes this. And he's saying, we stand in awe of the deeds of God. The things that God has done, the things that He has been involved in. And when you look back over the course of this year, I'm sure that there are many times during this time that you look back as you reflect and you say, man, God did some stuff here. While I was going through Corona, God did some stuff for me. And even though it was tough, and even though I may have lost loved ones, and even though I may have suffered in my business, I acknowledge the good deeds of God at a time like this. God has done good things for us. And at the end of the year, I want you to join with me, if you will, and stand in awe of His deeds. Then I want to take you back to the beginning of time, to creation. We're in Isaiah chapter 29, verse 23. We see how he stands in awe at the work of his hands, his deeds and his hands. And we look at the beauty of what God has done and the hands with which he has done it with. And we stand in awe of him. Now we look at the time of David and we look at the time of many writers in the scripture and we see them doing the same thing, how they contemplate the greatness of God and seen and the things that He has done. They stand in awe at the greatness of God as they look at the wonder of His most beautiful creation. Even the rocks and the trees cry out at the wonder of the greatness of God's creative ability. A few years back, I happened to be in Austin, Texas, in the United States. And uh, I was very privileged to be at a particular hotel one night that was on the banks of this most magnificent big lake. And this deep lake, and we were up on the cliff, and, and the whole hotel had gathered for evening drinks and supper on the deck of this big hotel. All of a sudden, I noticed something strange happening on this deck. I saw all the staff from the hotel walking out onto the deck of this hotel, and all the guests gathered them, and they were all looking in the westerly direction. They were standing on the deck as they watched the sun go down over this magnificent lake. And you know what they did? They began to applaud. They began to applaud. I said to the guy next to me, I said, what are these people doing? He said, can't you see? Look at the beauty of that sunset. And every single night, everybody in the hotel comes out and they applaud the wonder of God's creation. And they watch as the sun goes down. And they applaud and they cheer as they watch until the sun has totally disappeared behind the horizon. And I thought, what a beautiful thing to do. And they did it at the end of every day. They didn't just do this once or twice a year. At the end of every day, everybody in that hotel gathered on, the, on, this, on this beautiful big deck and they applauded God. They stood in awe of His deeds and they stood in awe of His most beautiful creation. As you look back over the years, it's your last Friday today. As you look back over the year, I want to invite you today no matter what kind of a year you've had, to stand with me in awe of a God who is able to make a creation so beautiful in order that we can see the wonder of who God is in the magnificence of the sunset, the sunrise, and pretty much everything in between. 
Uh, you can't see too much right now, but the sun is setting behind me, and I would invite you just to applaud God. Say, thank you, God, for all you have done for us this past year, for the beauty of your provision, the wonder of your deeds, and your amazing creative power. Won't you stand for a moment as you watch the sun go down its last little dregs right now and listen as Lizanne sings to you about the beauty of the goodness of God. Won't you stand and let's applaud together. Have a good day, people. Bye-bye. I love you, Lord. Oh, your mercy never fails me All my days I've been held in your hand From the moment that I wake up Until I lay my head Oh, I will sing Of the goodness of God Come, let's sing it out, church. Cause all my life you have been faithful. Yes, you have, Father. All my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am made, oh, I will say of the goodness of God I love your voice You have led me through the fire In darkest nights You are close like no other I've known you as a father I've known you as a friend
the goodness of God.